The topic of today's experiment is the separation of component of mixture. Uh, for this one, we have this unknown ternary mixture. This is a mixture of three components, the chloride, carbonate, and oxide. We are going to separate all three components from this unknown mixture. In the first part, I'm going to separate the chloride. For this one, I have this approximate weight of two to three gram of this mixture. Uh, we need the 150 milliliter beaker. We need this 250 milliliter beaker. We need the analytical balance. We need the 25 milliliters DI water. And we are going to do the gravity filtration in this part. And this is the gravity filtration assembly. Uh, in the first one, I'm going to weigh the empty beakers. This is the weight of empty beaker number one, like 79.1992 grams. We have to record this one. Now I'm going to weigh the beaker number two. The weight of beaker number two is 111.1581 grams. Now, I'm going to add this mixture into the beaker number one. And then I'm going to weigh again. Now the weight of beaker number one with the mixture is 81.9943 grams. Now I'm going to add 25 milliliters of DI water in this mixture. I already measured the 25 milliliters of DI water in this graduating cylinder. And with the help of the glass rod, I'm going to stir it. After stirring of one or two minutes, I'm going to separate the solid from the liquid. And for this thing, I'm going to do the gravity filtration. For the gravity filtration, we need this tan, we, ne we need the iron ring, and we need the funnel. These are the filter papers. What you have to do, you should have to fold the filter paper one time and then you have to fold one more time. Then you have to open just like a cone. Then you have to put it here. And you have to put the beaker number two here. And now I'm going to use water because we dissolve this solid in water that's why i have to moist the filter paper with a little drops of water only to get contacted with the walls now i'm going to filter this one Filtration takes a few minutes, like approximately 10 to 15 minutes sometimes. Make sure we have to take all the solid. For that, we have to add a little bit of water and then pour it.
and make sure the level of water should be not above the filter paper otherwise the solid can go down into beaker number two now it's almost done what we have to do because the chloride is water soluble and it comes off all in beaker number two and we are going to evaporate the water from this and I already turned on the hot plate we're going to put the beaker onto the hot plate it takes a while to get all the water evaporated and this is the chloride we have the mixture of two like the carbonate and the oxide we are going to take this mixture into the evaporating dish but before that I'm going to weigh the evaporating dish because we need the empty way of evaporating dish for that one we have to put into the analytical balance and the way of the evaporating dish is 82.1496 grams now I'm going to take this binary mixture into the evaporating dish by unfold the filter paper and with the help of this water If we see like, you know, there is nothing onto the filter paper, it can go into the regular trash can. With this hydrochloric acid, I already measured the 8 milliliter of hydrochloric acid in the graduating slander. Now I'm going to add this acid. Whenever we are using the hydrochloric acid or any strong acid or any strong base, we have to do the experiment under the hood. That's why I'm doing this under the hood and we have to add slowly. Now you see the solid. This is the oxide. I'm going to decant this supernatant liquid from this one carefully. And we have to take this liquid into the beaker number one slowly. oxide. I'm going to wash the oxide with approximately 5 milliliters of DI water and take all the washing in beaker number one. I have to wash it two times. What I'm going to do, I have to put this one into the hot water bath. I already set up the hot water bath here. This is the hot plate and this is the water. And what I'm going to do, I have to put into here to get it dry. It takes like, you know, a few minutes. And in this beaker one, 
this is the oxide and this one is the carbonate we have to regenerate the carbonate by adding the potassium carbonate but before that we have to heat this one for a few minutes after the five minutes of heating of this we have to add this potassium carbonate in here this is another chemical method in this experiment and we are going to regenerate the carbonate we have to add slowly no. After making the precipitates, I'm going to do the vacuum filtration in this part. For the vacuum filtration, we should need the assembly. I already set up the assembly in here. We need this Buchner funnel. This is the filtration flask and it should have to attach with the vacuum. For that part, we need the filter paper but make sure you should have to check the size of the filter paper it should has to go and fit in here this is the right side of filter paper and the other thing is we need to weigh this filter paper with the watch glass first this is the filter paper and this is the watch glass i'm going to weigh both of these This is the empty way of the watch glass and the filter paper and this is 37.9107. Now we have to take this weight filter paper we have to put into the Buchner funnel and then we have to turn on the vacuum. Make sure once everything is in the vacuum, you should have to moist the filter paper with the same solvent we use water. That's why I moist with the water, DI water. And then I'm going to filter this one. I'm just like swirl it and pour it. And this is the faster way, much faster than the gravity filtration. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And I have to take like, you know, all the solid from here. Then I leave as it is under the vacuum at least for two more minutes to get it dry. Now, after two to three minutes, I just turn off the vacuum and then with the help of the spatula I take the filter paper out carefully and take into this one and then put this one into the hot plate. I have already have the, the boiling water onto the hot plate just like that we dry the oxide. I have to put this one for a few minutes. Beaker number two, in the beaker number two we have the chloride, it's all dry. We have to put this one onto the wire gauze 
turn off the hot plate and after a few minutes i'm going to record the way of this beaker number two now this is almost done if you see like you know this is almost dry i'm just put this into the wire gauze for a few minutes once it's get cool down i have to weigh this again and after that we can calculate the percentage of the oxide from the ternary mixture Once it's cooled down, I just want to wipe this off and then I'm going to weigh this. The weigh of oxide with the evaporating dish is 83.28. I'm going to weigh the beaker number two, which has the chloride. And the weight is 111.9625. Now it's almost dry. You have to turn off the hot plate and put onto the wire gauze for a few minutes. This is the carbonate. I have to wipe it off at the bottom. And now I'm going to weigh this. And the weight of the watch glass and the carbonate is 39.08 for the Zero. disposal of the chemicals this is just the sand like the oxide it can go into the regular trash can and after that we can wash and this is just the chloride we can wash this one under the sink and this is the carbonate it can go into the regular trash can and rather than the chemicals, we should have to clean up everything. We have to turn off the hot plate and we have to put all the glassware back into their original places. Thank you.